Welcome to the Z Hut. Today, we're going to take a look at the photo interrupter sensor module and how to use it with an Arduino board. Now, um, <clears throat> these are widely available on eBay, Amazon, places like that. Um, if you buy one of those all in one sensor kits, generally you're going to have one of these in there. But um, what I have here is a bigger version of the photo interrupter. This is on a sensor board. This is not. If you're interested in using one of these, um, <laughs> I have other videos I've done in the past on this. Just check my channel. You'll uh, find I've got several videos on these and I've used these in multiple projects. So this is just a bigger version of what's on this board. What it is is on one side there is an LED and it's infrared so you can't see it. And on the other side is the transistor. But instead of using voltage and current to activate it, it uses light. And that's all there is. And uh, when it's interrupted, it doesn't let voltage flow through the transistor. But when it's wide open, it does. Now, in the module here, it, uh, it's set up and it's got some resistors and diodes and all that fun stuff. And it's set up so <clears throat> it has a digital output instead of um, using the regular photo interrupter that uses you using analog reads for that. This will either be high or low, digital high, digital low, and it runs on 5 volts. Um, you can use 3.3 volt on it too, I'm pretty sure. But what we have here on the back, the pins, we have our sensor pin, which is this one. That's our signal. Then we have our positive, which is in the middle, and then our, our negative, and that's marked on the board right here, is on the other side. So looking at it from the other way, the negative positive sensor pin right there, or signal pin, whichever you would like to call it. All right, I'm going to demonstrate it working, and then I'll tell you how you'd go about using it with an Arduino. But to demonstrate it working, I have a simple um, little circuit I put together, and it's just a little power supply I have here, a little 5 volt regulated power supply, and an LED with a current limiting resistor, and then positive and negative. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it. Now, <coughs> there's nothing between the LED and the transistor, so the LED is off. You see when I insert that little piece of black paper between it, the LED turns on. So this makes it very simple to use with your Arduino. You would just simply use a digital read. Um, if it's high, then it means there is something that's going through between the LED and the transistor. It means it's being blocked. If it's low, it's not. So many different uses for this. Uh, one of the projects I did in the past was a camera slider, and it used these to tell it when to stop moving, when it hit the end. Um, I used an old scanner bed, and I had one of these on each end, and when it got to the end, it detected and it just automatically stopped the loop that was running so that it did not try to drive the stepper motors and keep driving the slider when it was at the end uh, of its reach and could not go any further. So lots of different uses for this project. Um, that's all there is to it. I'm not going to bother showing, hooking it up to the Arduino. If you do not know how to do a digital read, uh, then check out my channel as well. I've got a whole a whole um, lesson set on beginners learning Arduino and um, also like I said there's other tutorials and fun stuff on there as well so don't forget to subscribe please give us a thumbs up if you found this information useful and I'd like to thank you for joining us here today and remember have fun building